Hey, good morning, Zion Church family. Uh, it's Monday, so it's time for our morning psalm. Uh, I have really enjoyed this past year beginning my Mondays uh, with you and in the psalms. In fact, it's my goal to begin every day uh, with a psalm on my lips and in my heart. Uh, it doesn't always work out that way, but pushing out these videos ensures that uh, I'm at least going to get to it on Monday. And it's a great way to begin our week together. This week, we find ourselves in Psalm 119. This is a psalm. Uh, it's the longest in the whole Psalter. It's over 160 verses. And so it pops up several times, uh, different sections of it. One unique thing about Psalm 119 is that uh, the word testimony, law, commandments, statutes, precepts, some, some word that refers to God's law occurs in nearly every one of the 160 verses. Now here in this section today, if you look at verses 132 and 133, um, we don't have a, a reference to that, but that's rare. Uh, almost, I would say probably at least 150, if not more of the 160 verses reflect or meditate on God's law. So this is uh, the dominant uh, theme of this entire Psalm. Psalm 119, Psalm 19, and Psalm 1 are all psalms that focus on God's law and his will. Uh, you know, the psalms are full of all kinds of genres, as I'm sure you're aware. Some psalms are laments, they're cries to God. Some psalms are meant to be celebrations of praise or thanksgiving. But Psalms 119 and 119 uh, reflect on God's law and the purpose it is for our life. So I'll just read through this with you today and then talk a little bit about something at the end. Um, verse 129, your testimonies, they are wonderful. Therefore, my soul keeps them. See, God's law is a good thing. Um, it's not <laughs> just meant to be understood as rules that oppress us, but it's like a guidebook for life and how, how we can walk. If we keep them, our life will go best. The unfolding of your words gives light. It imparts understanding to the simple. You know, the simple here being those who just go along with the ways of the world and uh, its sinfulness. Um, those simple are instructed by God's words. They shed light on what a good life looks like. 131, I open my mouth and pant because I long for your commandments. You know, As the deer panteth for the water, so my soul longeth after you. That's a famous psalm. Uh, here's that same idea, this longing for God's commandments. I'm going to return to that at the end. Uh, verse 132, turn to me and be gracious to me, as is your way with those who love your name. So those who follow and strive to follow after Jesus, uh, God is gracious to. Uh, it's not to be understood as we're earning God's favor, uh, but just to be that God takes note of those who walk in his ways. And often uh, many blessings unfold in their life. Well, it's not a promise. Uh, there's many people who walk in God's ways faithfully and have all kinds of adversity. Uh, come into their life. But by and large, when we live according to God's commands, our lives go far more smoothly. Uh, 133, keep steady my steps according to your promise and let no iniquity get dominion over me. Following God's word is a, a good way to avoid sin and letting that take hold of our life. Verse 134, redeem me from man's oppression so that I may keep your precepts. Okay. Men and women of the world, as they act sinfully towards us, uh, that can provide a barrier to us being able to carry out God's precepts. Uh, we want God to spare us from that. It's the same prayer as the Lord's Prayer. Deliver us from evil. 135, make your face shine upon your servant. Teach me your statutes. And finally, 136, my eyes shed streams of tears because they do not keep your law. Uh, when we do transgress God's law, that should be a source of of discontent inside of us. Um, we should feel shamed and we should want to do better. Uh, that's the natural feeling. That's what we call a guilty conscience. Uh, that's what happens when we don't keep God's law. And it's there so that we would recognize that uh, and strive to follow God's law. And you know, it always feels good to do the right thing. People rarely regret it. People regret transgressing God's law all the time, but rarely do people regret keeping God's law. Now, um, back to uh, verse 131 there. You see on the bottom of the screen, Psalm 119, verse 20. <laughs> Initially, I recorded a video that was the wrong section of the psalm. 
I didn't pay attention to the verses and I was halfway through recording it and I went, oh no, <laughs> these are the wrong verses. But um, listen to how Psalm 119 verse 20 reads in the, in the ESV version, the version we would hear in church. My soul is consumed with longing for your rules at all times. See, that sounds a lot to me like verse 131, I open my mouth and pant, I long for your commandments. And I thought to myself, who in our world is consumed, longing for God's rules at all times? We don't really think like that, uh, but perhaps we should. Uh, we should long to better understand and know God's will. Why? Because it imparts knowledge and understanding to the simple. And uh, while I was looking this uh, psalm up, I, I saw this translation from the King James Version of that Psalm 119, verse 20. Look what this says. Um, My soul breaketh for the longing that it hath unto thy judgments at all times. My soul breaketh. Uh, Again, ESV translates that, my soul is consumed. I suppose that's the same thing, but this understanding that my very soul would break because that's how much I eagerly desire to know what God's judgment, what his will would be at all times. Um, that's the epitome of the attitude of a person who seeks to follow the Lord in their life and walk in his ways. Uh, maybe this will be a week. Uh, beginning with Psalm 119, that you will attune yourself to God's will. Uh, when you go to lunch today, as you go throughout the office, uh, as you visit your grandkids, whatever you may be doing, would your soul break today to know what is God's will in each moment, and would you strive to follow it? Please pray with me. Father in heaven, we give you thanks and praise this day and always for your holy will. May it continue to illumine the path of our lives and give us blessings. In your name we pray. Amen. Have a good rest of your week. I'll see you tomorrow.